Hello students, today let us see some introduction about the topic statement calculus in the subject discrete mathematics. So here in this topic we will be given some statement formulas H1, H2, etc, Hn. These statement formulas are known as premises or called as premises and using these premises applying these premises on some certain equivalences and certain inference rules we should logically conclude a statement formula called C. So this is what we are going to do. So for supporting our argument we have to argue some uh, arguments and based on that we have to conclude. For supporting our argument we need some inference rules some implication standard implication let me list out those standard implication first of all basically we are going to use two rules one is rule p and another is rule t rule p is used to introduce a statement formula given as a premise at any point of the derivation at any point of our argument we shall introduce any given premise as rule p and we have to use rule p only one time for one formula that's all and using rule to t we are going to derive any conclusion derive any statement formulas by applying those premises in standard implications and equivalences so what are the standard implications we are going to use mod exponents, mod tollens, disjunctive syllogism, simplification, conjunction, hypothetical syllogism, dilemma, these are the standard implications we are going to use. So, and when to apply which standard implication? Let me explain. So, suppose we are given a conditional statement like this, P conditional Q. We have to either use mod exponents or mod tollens. So, this single statement formula cannot be used to derive any statement formula. Along with this statement formula, we need one more statement formula. And that statement formula decide whether we have to use mod exponents or mod tollens. Suppose if you take the uh, conditional statement, P is the left hand side, Q is the right hand side. Now, if we have the left hand side of the conditional statement as an additional premise as an extra premise we have to use mod exponents now when we combine these two statement formulas we should we shall get a statement formula q the right hand side as a conclusion as a derivation and if we have a conditional statement p conditional q along with this we have another statement formula negation of the right hand side then combining these two using mod as tollens we shall get a premise a, a statement formula negation of the left hand side negation p and if you are having a disjunctive statement disjunctive connective p or q along with this either we have negation of one statement or negation of another statement then we will have the other statement Q as a derivation or other statement P as the derivation right so this is disjunctive syllogism now simplification the connective statement P and Q conjunction statement P and Q shall be simplified as either P as well as either Q or Q we shall simplify conjunction two statements p comma q can be combined using a conjunctive connective p and q hypothetical syllogism p conditional q and q conditional r these two together can be combined as p conditional r dilemma p or q p conditional r q conditional r shall be combined as r this is dilemma this hypothetical syllogism and dilemma are very rarely used. Just concentrate on the first five standard implications. Along with these implications, you should remember the conditional equivalence, De Morgan's law, complement class, what we saw in the previous chapter also. 
let us see some problems in the next video thank you